The Extract Railing Line tool in Open Buildings Designer can be very helpful when working with complex stair models. Let's take a closer look at this functionality in the context of a spiral stair. Let's limit our visibility to just these stairs to keep things simple. You can access the Extract Railing Line tool by expanding the Railing tool and selecting it. And once it's selected, all you have to do is identify the left or the right side of the stairs and a railing line will be placed automatically. If we select one of these lines, we will see that it is a smart line with a vertex created at the edge of each tread. We may now use this line to place a railing along the spiral stairs. We can select the type of railing to be placed. We can choose the option to remove the placement line once the stairs are created and ensure that the from line placement option is active. We then select the line to be used and specify the offset direction and accept to generate the railing geometry. What we can observe right away is that the software placed the posts of our railing exactly where each vertex of the smart line was located. The start and end point of the railing also corresponds to the start and end point of the smart line. So knowing this, we can now manipulate the railing line to suit our needs. For example, we can make the post of the railing start somewhere in the middle of each tread as opposed to the edge by simply rotating the smart line. And since I do not know exactly where the center of the spiral stairs is, I will draw two intersecting lines which will help locate the center about which we can rotate the smart line. And once we have the center identified, we can select the rotate tool. And then using the top view, we can select the pivot point about which we will be rotating. Next, we can select the edge of the tread and then our preferred location for the posts. When we're finished, we can see that the line has been rotated and since I had the copy option enabled when rotating, we can still see the old smart line. We can remove this as well as the auxiliary lines which were used to locate the center of the stairs. We can now use this line to place a railing and see that the posts are going to be located near the center of our tread depth. For the other side, Let's look at some other ways in which we can manipulate the railing line. For example, if we choose the Delete Vertex tool, we can delete specified vertices simply by clicking on them. This way, we can force the software to create posts on every other tread, giving us larger panels and fewer posts. So if we select the line, we can see fewer vertices. Now, since the software starts and ends the railing exactly where the line starts and ends, we can extend our railing by drawing a horizontal smart line on the top tread. Of course, ensure that the ACS plane and snap locks are disabled and draw the line. We now have two separate lines, which we need to join to create a single line. In the modeling workflow, we must select the Create Complex Chain tool. And select both lines and accept to merge them into one line. In the building design workflow, we can now create a railing using our modified railing line.
The Extract Railing Line tool can also be used on already existing railings. We can select a tool and then specify an already existing railing to create a smart line running along its path. We can then remove the existing railing and modify the railing line. Here we will adjust it so that the safety barrier will go around the other slab openings. Of course we have the option to add or remove vertices and then move them around as necessary. Once the railing line is adjusted to meet our requirements, we can then use it to generate a railing along its path. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.